Hey guys, as uh, mine here, welcome back to Let's Play Second Austin. Awesome. Last episode we did uh, Sasha's Mind, now we're doing Mia's Mind 100%. Let's get right in. Agent Bordello? Where are you? Rasput? I. I don't really know. I was on the dock and all of a sudden there was this. thing. And then everything went black. I believe you've been abducted, probably by Coach Oleander. He's trying to take over the world. Oh, Molly. Well, if you find my body, give it a little shake, will you? In the meantime, you can shake it in here as much as you want. Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults to the left. Okay, so here we are in Agent uh, Mia's Mind. Now, Mia's Mind is... Uh, much, much more difficult than Sasha's. Uh, you can probably guess why, and I think I mentioned it in the actual LP as well. And that is the fact that Mia's figments, well, figments in general, are very bright and colourful, and Mia's mind is also very bright and colourful, making it very difficult to see them sometimes. And, like, <coughs> so, so many of these, uh, particularly in this room that I'm in, uh, uh, quite difficult to find. It's actually the last one in this area. You can't see it, but it's a very small green one on a table that I, from an area just passed up there. And uh, I actually had to come back to this area to do it again. Um, but th once again, the the best uh, strategy I can tell you, with, which really really is helpful, is to pause the game and see how many pigments you're missing in each area. The problem is that this first area here is actually really quite big. I do believe this uh, actually means mine is split up into three parts. Uh, you got this beginning part, the race, and the ending part. Um, we'll get into those. I'll get into each place individually. Um, but this beginning part here is quite long, so it is kind of difficult to see. But just just remember that there are, it is relatively linear. You know, just you, if you just kind of check around, you know, these big areas like I am here. You will probably find most of them by hand, uh, by yourself. But just be sure to check like small little areas. In fact, it might even be there. Um, <coughs> yeah, just just small areas that you you might not um, necessarily think, uh, like the lounge areas and stuff on top of tables and things like that. Just small figments, I think, are, are definitely the worst. But uh, you know, um, also a lot of uh, figments like that uh, fly around. So you want to keep an eye out for them and see if you can't jump into them or, you know, something like that. Uh, which is also very, very difficult. So just, you know, whenever you just, you just uh, find a moment, look around, look up, you know, look down, look left, look right, just look everywhere. Uh, here I am, like, realizing I've still got a, had one figment left over in the, that last area. So use the thing to get back to the beginning of the entire area. Uy. But you can actually also use them to get back to the brain tumbler experiment, which is a fun fact I didn't know. Um... But yeah, so that's pretty much this first area here. I'll give you some music and come back in a minute for the next area. Okay, so coming into the next area, the race. This is probably the most annoying area in the whole freaking game uh, to 100%. You can probably guess why. So this race is really big, it's really long, and there are figments scattered all over the place. Uh, first off, you saw there I ran backwards, and uh, don't let that fool you, there is nothing there. Um, but yeah, so this race you, it is in, I think it's practically, or physically impossible to get every single figment on your first go because it has so many different routes and you have to kind of like it, it, um, you have to take each one each time you know to 
uh, get all the figments, and it's very, very annoying. But just make sure when you go through each route to try and get every figment. Um, there is no shame in stopping and turning around like you might see me doing a lot, just to pick up one figment or two. Um, but generally, the best thing I can tell you is kind of look where you're meant to go. So if you, there's like giant shoes, you know, and they have like the uh, the arc between the heel, that looks like a place you can go through. So there's probably a figment there, you know, and there won't necessarily be anywhere else adjacent to it. So you see I have like a row of stars pointing me in that direction of uh, one of the, the, the races. Not races, uh, paths. Um, but yeah, once again, there's no shame in stopping and <clears throat> turning around and like running back. It just takes a little while. Uh, you do pick up a way too much momentum sometimes. It's a bit difficult. You know, it's just uh, bearing in mind that the draw di distance for some of them is a bit, uh, you know, a bit annoying. So you kind of want to like scout around a bit. But generally, you'll be able to see most things. Uh, it's not as obnoxiously difficult to find them necessarily. But, uh, you know, just kind of go along a path, you'll, you'll find a way. Um, if you're curious about how to get, get through a lot of these ramp jumps and stuff, because a lot of these figments, see, like, I keep I keep missing them, I have to jump up and get them. You don't actually have to do that. If you actually just roll towards them at a high speed, you don't jump, it will jump automatically and you'll be able to pick up the figments uh, yourself. Um, let's see, oh yes, um, so... You saw there are lost. That's because like when she go through the second time. So this is not like the first time going through her mind. That is um, go through the second time. Just go through the race yourself. You'll be timed, and that will count as your new record. Um, and if you beat that record, you actually progress to the next area. And if you don't, you have to retry this area. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they do that, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. You can always use the the bug to to go back past. Um, so actually, I think I, I just did it there. I, f I got all of the uh, the pigments. It, it actually took a really, really long time. Don't let this fast forwarding fool you. But yeah, I think I told you everything you need to do. So this is the third area. Um, there's actually only like two rooms to this, but uh, this area is, as you can tell, it uh, can be a bit dickish. There's lots of floating things flying all over the place. And there's another room after this. Uh, as you can see, a kind of a, like a weird texture thing there. I was a bit concerned, so I figured, oh, let's just go through all of this. Um, it's kind of difficult sometimes to see the figments in the bubbles, but I don't know, just kind of like scout around a bit. There's a lot down there in the spiral area. Um, yeah. Uh, so, not much to say here other than, you know, really, really keep out. I saved there because I was a bit concerned about what's going on here. It's just a loading area. Now, this room, it, it is the last room, but for whatever reason, it caused me way too much strife than it needed to because it, those platforms that you got to jump onto, each one of them has a figment, these ones here and they're actually way harder to jump on than you think so don't destroy any of the things on because I kept using the speakers on them as you can see uh, you'll see me use it, like there to jump to the next area and it's really really difficult and there's actually a figment up here that's really difficult to get for some reason it's on one of these, ones. that one right there, that's the last one I get because it's just so unnecessarily like you see I just had so much trouble with it um, a lot of the flying figments though they end up at the bottom here like I just did there I think I just looked at my thing and realized I only had one left I knew exactly where it was um, and you can see me screw around for ages trying to get it <coughs> um, so you know if, you, if you're missing like a, a two or three just just try and stand around at the bottom in this area and eventually some of them might fly down because there are some that are constantly moving some of those are standing still um, but yeah, my advice for getting this last one, by the way, is uh, when I do eventually get up here, I do this kind of like weird spinny, f uh, like momentum thing, like that, and I'm able to do it. And there you go, that's the last figment in this level. So that's that's me as dance party. Uh, it was very difficult. Um, took me about half an hour or so. But first thing I realized was I didn't show you Sasha's uh, primal memories. So I'll just show you that real quick. Here's the camp lodge. It's very nice. Uh, Sa uh, Sasha Mir's design, uh, uh, Sasha's lab, Sasha's mind, um, a bit more of his mind and how it would all pop out and work. There's another area of it. Uh, there's a, a storyboard for one of the cutscenes. Uh, there's the boss, the concept starts for him, Mega Sensor. And yeah, that's his, so now I'll go show you Mia's. Uh, that's her design, um, 
You got all of her little dances as well, and there's all their models. Uh, you know, more designs about her level. She's got a lot of level designs. That's actually the beginning of the level, which you barely see, but you know, you go, you go through them. Uh, there's one of those big shoes I was talking about, you know, for the race. It's a really colorful level. I really like it. But uh, yeah, so anyway, that was Mia's Mind. I would say it's the second diff most difficult level in the game, just because of its, uh, you know, things going on, but anyway. Just watching this guy dance here. But yeah, anyway, I've been Arizona Mato, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.